Okay, so I bought the, the Japanese short stories for beginners uh, by the Lingo Mastery brand. And I really liked uh, the layout and the design of the book. So I thought I would buy the Chinese short stories for beginners, uh, assuming that they would have the, the same layout, which they don't. I'm actually not a fan of the way they designed this book. and I'll open it up in a second, but I just wanted to make a video to give you a look inside if you're thinking about buying this book as well. And if you want to see why I liked uh, the Japanese book, I'll put a link or, just, or uh, a card or a link in the description if you want to check that out. So anyways, there's uh, 20 short stories here, as you can see, and they all follow the same format. I'll open it up here for you. So as you can see here, uh, they don't give you a full story in, your, in, uh, in Chinese. Uh, they break it up into three sections. They do a little bit of Mandarin. Uh, give you the opinion, and they give you the English. Uh, now, I much prefer having uh, a version where you get an entire story in your target language, uh, just to kind of practice your fluidity in reading. So I don't like the way that they, they broke this up, because they don't give you a full story in Mandarin at all. Um, and every story is like this, so they break it down this way, and then you get your question section, or you get a summary first, broken down the same way. And then you get uh, your questions here, it's a vocab list there, and at the end, you get the answer key uh, for those questions. So uh, I'm not a fan of the way they laid out the Chinese book, uh, but I do like the Japanese one a lot. So if you want to check that one out, I'll link the video for you. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and have a good day.